welcome to my channel in this video i will teach you how to make a rose flower so now i am starting with a brown color i will do the brown color little bit and then i will start mixing the brown color with the dark red color or maroon we always mix from dark to light in pastel color so see how properly it is mixed now i am mixing the uh, dark red color with the red color like this now at the bottom i am giving the brown color and then the dark red color and the red color now i am mixing all those colors with brown, with white and following the same process i am doing in the other petal in the black color i'm just giving the final touch here for the shadow after giving black it's looking so this petal is looking so completed black color always give a final gives a final touch in the color petal i am doing um, black and then i am mixing that black with brown and then i am mixing that with dark <clears throat> with dark red and now i am using red color in pastel colors for shading as much colors you do it seems very nice as rose is red we always Now we use red shades. For making it more neater, I'm <coughs> dusting the paper with tissue paper. If we don't dust, the paper might get untidy. If you like my video please like and subscribe to my channel
and mix it with white to give a light texture of red. See like this way. And now I'm giving <clears throat> deep red for the border of that middle part. In rows we can also give a purple sometimes. I'm giving a little creases in the rows so that it looks a little natural. We always give final touch with black color or black pencil or black glass marker pencil. For final touch, we don't always um, border the whole drawing with black. We always uh, give a little bit of texture in, in the places needed with black. Now I'm starting with the step. I gave sap green in the first and then I'm mixing it with the light green and then with yellow I think it is not mixed so I am giving a little light green again for leaves I will give blue color dark blue color first and then dark green and then light green for greenery we always use like trees, bushes, leaves, stem. We always use blue, dark, dark green, light green and yellow. And at the last if we think that it is not looking very complete we give a little texture of black. In the same process I am doing the second leaf. is also completed. You can give little black at or at the last of coloring, but I give when I finish a particular thing to save my time. Because in the competition there is a particular time to complete the drawings. Now I am doing the sepals of the flower. For sepals we don't use many colors, we only use two or three colors. See it's looking so beautiful. this blue color with white. Whenever we use white color we always rub it with a cloth otherwise the pink or whatever color can stuck in the can be stuck in the paper and with an untidy look. Thanks for watching my video.